Good morning, this is Tiger Scott Television Network. I'm Joe Bauman. And I'm Josh Lambert, and this is your Tiger Scott News for the Week. First off, we have Bobby with the weather. Uh, hello. For Friday's weather, cloudy, highs 41. Saturday, partly cloudy, highs 50. Sunday, mostly cloudy, highs 46. Monday, partly cloudy, highs 48. Tuesday, few showers, high 48. Wednesday, partly cloudy, highs 47. Thursday, cloudy, highs 49. Have a great day. Thank you, Bobby. And now we go to Josh Lambert, who is reporting on the Student and Athlete of the Week. Hello, this is Tiger Scott Television Network for the Students of the Week. First is seen to Tyler Hall. He organized and contacted a great guest speaker for advanced ag class, and he has put time and effort into the design livestock design project. Next is junior Shaylin Yonge. She has a strong work ethic in English class and keeps a great attitude. Next is sophomore Alex Bastardo. He has done a great job in world history by completing his work and also has a great work ethic. Last is freshman Leslie Seha. She is torching the keyboarding class and has an excellent work ethic also in computer applications. Hello, and this is Tiger Scott Television's Athletes of the Week. We'll start off right away with senior Ron Turgeson. He had 40 points, 26 rebounds, and 15 blocks in the three-game series this past week against Pilot Rock, Enterprise, and Heaven. Next is junior Tyler Peterson. He put up 34 points, had seven offensive rebounds, and nine steals in three quarters of play time against Heaven and Enterprise. Second, sophomore Betsy West. She played well against Heaven and Enterprise. She used post moves she had been practicing very effectively. She does a great job boxing out, which makes her a true threat at the post position. Final is freshman Keegan Shepard. She hustled everywhere on the court against Hefner. She played excellent defense and boxed out very well, which led to nine rebounds. She also put up 11 points, two assists, and four steals, full time. Thank you, Josh. Now we go to our field reporter, Patrick Ford, with the Hall of Fame. Hi, I'm Patrick Ford, reporting for the Tiger Scott Television Network. Nominees for Hall of Fame induction ceremony. The first nominee is Colby Cummings Nifon, who attended West McCune High School from 1988 to 1992. She is an OSAA scholar athlete in three sports. She earned, she earned 11 varsity letters in cross country basketball and track. She holds the high jump record at West McCune High School. In basketball, she was scoring and rebounding leader. Her junior and senior year averaging 20 points per game. First team all conference, her junior senior year, player of the year, her senior year. Part of 92 basketball team that went 25 and 1. She is the first female athlete from WM to Blue Mountain Sports Award Female Athlete of the Year in 1992. She attended Linfield College on a basketball scholarship and holds the all-time steals record at Linfield. Another inductee for the Hall of Fame ceremony is the 1992 West McEwen female basketball team under coaches Michael Wellen and Shelby Liscombe. They finished with a 25-1 record but lost in the state championship. Three players made first team all-league and those players were Shelby Cummings, Cindy Albert and Crystal Wan. Michael Wellen was nominated for Coach of the Year that year. Our next Hall of Fame nominee is Elvin Taylor, who attended high school here at West McEwen from 1954 to 1957. He has been in the district for 49 years. He was the student pep band conductor. He got his bachelor's degree in education at Eastern Oregon University in 1962. He was a finalist for the Oregon Small Schools Teacher of the Year Award in 1989. He has worked in the Athena Caledonian Games for 25 years and is a treasurer, treasurer at the Athena Baptist Church from 1995 to now. Another inductee for the Hall of Fame ceremony is Charles Chuck McCullough. He attended West McEwen High School from 1949 to 1953 and has been in the district for 58 years. He was the ASB president of his class, and he played for the football
Football Shrine Team of 1953. He was a four-sport letterman, and he played football and baseball for one year at Women. He has been director of the Umatel Morrow ESD Media Department for 32 years, and he is the president of the Oregon Educational Media Classes. He built first and only TV studio in Umatel County. Another inductee for the Hall of Fame ceremony is Louis Henry Dick Jr., also known as Louis Aches. He attended Western McEwen High School from 1950 to 1954 and has been in the district for 72 years. While at high school, he played three sports consecutively for four years. He attended Eastern Oregon State College one year. Louis is a member at the, of the Confederated Tribes of Umatilla Indian Reservation. He is also on the Pendleton Roundup Happy Canyon Hall of Fame Board of Directors. Louie is well known by every school child in Eastern Oregon. He made Forest Service and Native American presentations in schools for 40 years. Our final nominee for the Hall of Fame induction ceremony is Beryl Hodgman, who attended McEwen High School from 1920 to 1924. He was raised in Adams and participated in football and basketball. He was captain of the 1923 basketball team that played in state tournament. He attended the University of Oregon from 1924 to 1928 and played halfback in 1925. He played offensive guard in 1926 and 1927 and in 1927 was elected captain of the team. He played East-West All-Star game and held, that was held in Los Angeles. He returned to Athena and worked as a ranch foreman for 30 years and served on the Athena School Board. Thank you, Devin. And now for your PBS Message of the Week. These are the Tiger Scout Hallway Safety Rules. Always walk. Keep your hands and feet to yourself. Refrain from inappropriate contact or roughhousing. Maintain clear pathways. Have a good day. And now we go to D-Bird in Austin for the Sports of the Week. This is TTN Sports coming live with Austin Shane and Derek Redbury. Uh, Friday night was a huge night against Pilot Rock. The boys varsity was just like football. We won finish the game, finishing the game 67 to 29. Uh, Saturday the boys varsity won again 71 to 54 against uh, Union. Also on Friday the girls varsity won against PR 63-44, and on Saturday the girls lost to Union 37-51. Also tonight, we're playing Stanfield. The JV girls started off at 2 o'clock, following our, the JV boys, and then the varsity girls and the varsity boys. I'd like to see you all out there. Thank you, D. Bird and Austin, for the sports. Tonight, we have the Hall, and, Hall of Fame induction ceremony after the varsity girls game, and the band halftime show is during the boys game. Also, happy birthday to Luke Schmidtgall. Woo! Saturday is basketball at Oregon. Go Tiger Scots! Going on into the Monday, 
We have a board meeting at 7 o'clock and also a birthday for Taylor Rudolph. Woo! Tuesday on February 14th, we have Valentine's Day going on. Woo! Wednesday is February 15th, also National Honor Society meeting during lunch. On Friday, February 17th, we have an early release and the district basketball tournament is in Pendleton. Woo! And then moving to the weekend, on Saturday we have a district basketball tournament also in Pendleton. Woo! And roll tide. Go Tigers, guys.